place like St. Louis. We have thunderstorms pretty much every day for the rest of the week into the weekend, and we're out ahead of the main front, which is back out here. Chicago, we're finally going to get some much needed rain. It's starting to make its way across lower Wisconsin right now, and showers will be working in throughout the day today. So there's our front, and there's our moisture. The thing is with this front, it's not going to make a lot of eastward progress just yet. So it hangs out with us right here across the plains, and that means that we get some shower chances again today and tomorrow. Chicago, Des Moines, Kansas the city, St. Louis, all in it. The places that will get the most persistent rain, like right here, right out ahead of the front, we'll see some of the bigger rain totals coming in from Iowa, back down into eastern Kansas, maybe even northern Missouri. Three to five inches of rain is a possibility. Plus this, think about all this moisture that is coming in around the high pressure. We're going to get some of the bigger rain totals associated with that as well as we continue to, to track in that flow around that big high. It's amazing how that big high is sort of controlling everything about our weather this week. All right, Chicago, for you, you've got thunderstorms today, Thursday, um, and even into Thursday night. Does it clear out for the weekend? Let's take a look. We got your weekend in view forecast. And we start with, of course, another look at Wednesday where we've got this front that is draped across the country. A big temperature change on either side of it as well. You can see temperatures in North Dakota in the upper 50s. Meanwhile, we got temperatures in the 80s across the east. Here's the front on Thursday. It is still in the same spot. We're still watching that high pressure off to the east and that flow around it. Thursday is one of the wetter days in Florida, thanks to a tropical wave plus that easterly flow, although we keep the showers around on Friday as well, so not really catching a break. There may be severe weather with some of these thunderstorms that we're tracking out ahead of the front. It's not a big outbreak kind of situation, but there's a chance. Uh, and we watch for Saturday into Sunday, our system finally tracking east. I got to give you a heads up, though. By Sunday, we may be watching something in the tropics approaching the Gulf Coast. So we're going to detail that. More analysis coming up in a tropical update here in just a few minutes, plus coming up home homeowners in a hurry after we have got a look at that forecast starting with today's weather a lot of high pressure and control this is classic fall weather you got sunshine you got temperatures that will either run a little below average or close to average today but then warming up throughout the week across a good chunk of the east and that warm-up is already happening I mean look at Denver 77 degrees you've almost forgot about that snow you had a week and a half ago right yes we have um, we've got temperatures in the west by the way I want to mention very really hot for you today in LA we'll get a brief um, dry drop in temperatures, but then we do start to build back up by the end of the weekend there. That little drop comes in with a trough that's coming into the west. That's finally going to bring some much needed rainfall into parts of northern California. In the east, we start the warm up. We see the ridge building back in. Temperatures go back up to the upper 70s across the southeast, low 70s into the northeast. Here's that next front that starts to come on in. That brings some rain chances into Chicago by Sunday into the southern plains as well. Weather looks great though into the northeast. You keep high pressure right into the upcoming weekend. Yes, but I'm, I'm stuck on that oomphable word. I think that's a great description of what's happening out there. So let's talk about that because Steph mentioned, you know, increasing moisture that's coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. Here's our front. And as we see this low pressure track east along the front, that's going to just help draw up even more moisture. So by the time we get into, say, the Monday, Tuesday time frame, that terrible Tuesday, we've got more moisture getting pumped all the way in from the southeast to the mid-Atlantic, and there will be the potential for str some strong storms. So here's our front. The strongest of the upper-level winds are actually farther north and actually a little behind the front when we sort of time everything out. That said, there's still enough out there for thunderstorm risk, and we see it on Sunday moving through the southeast, getting into Monday. Here's our front. Here's our storms. Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, all going to see thunderstorms, and by Tuesday, it's here into the mid-Atlantic. All right, let's go to Reynolds right now with your Coast to Coast. Yeah.